Saturday. Um, so we are officially three weeks out. Um, I am getting ready to head down to visit my parents. Um, my mom was in New York um, treating COVID patients, and so she's back now. So I want to go visit her, and then I'm going to spend a week in Orlando training for work. And this is some of the things that I'm packing with me. I'll also be bringing my chicken that I got from Chicken Pound last week, and some ground beef that I haven't eaten already, some rice that I have, and also packing a whole thing of oats, my rice cakes, my measuring cup, my mini waffle maker so I can make waffles in my hotel room, um, my, whatever I have left of Kodiak cakes, my nut butter, I'm bringing two kinds, my protein for my waffles, um, and then just some BCAA and some pre-workout. Um, and then I'll be bringing my hash and also I have a bag of frozen hash that I'll also be bringing with me. And yeah, um, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to starting a new job, obviously, and also just hanging out and chilling at my parents' house. So that's what I have going on for this week. We are officially three weeks out, um, getting closer. I had a really good check-in this morning. I'm getting tighter. Carbs were increased to try to accommodate for um, the exhaustion that I was feeling last week. So I am happy with my, you know, with my check-in because I looked a lot leaner. The scale actually did go down and my food went up. So great signs overall. Had a good call with my coach this morning. Um, so yeah, let's bring it on home. <laughs> All right, so real quick, before I get on the road, I wanted to open up my package from Fit Life Brands and just show you guys a little bit of what I got from this month's order. Ooh, okay. All right, so, um, you know, this is my favorite protein. So I got the vanilla flavor. I haven't tried this one out yet. I've been trying the more fun flavors like peanut butter, Reese's cup and strawberry and toffee macchiata. And uh, I think I've had chocolate before, but this is the first time I've had vanilla. So vanilla waffles are coming up. And then they just released a new BCAA, which is fun on the beach. So I might actually swap this out with the one that I already packed so I can try it this week. And then I got an immune booster. Um, and this one would be really good for, especially, you know, right now in the climate and making sure that my immune system stays at optimal health. And then, um, the very necessary doctor joints. Um, I was running low, so I definitely made sure to add this to my, uh, monthly order. Um, as I mentioned before, I really love doctor joints because it just really keeps my joints and everything just well oiled and functioning properly to full mobility. And I looks like I got some t-shirts. Okay, super cute. Oh, I got a lot of shirts. Okay, Isotori. Another Isotori tank. And an Isotori shirt. So I got one PMD shirt and then Hello. <laughs> so I made it to my hometown safely. My first stop is Publix, which is about two minutes probably down the street from my parents' house. So it's not that big of a deal, but I know me and I know once I get there, I'm going to want to just lounge and not want to drive anymore, especially since I hate driving anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm at Publix because I like I showed you guys everything that I brought, but there I do need to prep a little bit more for the rest of the week. And I am staying at like a residence inn, so there's gonna be a kitchen, but I'd rather just cook as much as I can um and only use like the kitchen for like breakfast like my waffle and my eggs so the only thing i'm gonna get here now since i am still far from orlando not far from Orlando, but still do have to drive to orlando i'm not gonna buy my eggs or whatever i'm gonna get ground beef and i'm gonna get some shrimp because i know i can cook those and then just pack them with me um for the road tomorrow and I need some peanuts. So I'm probably gonna get like those 100 calories um, peanut snacks, um, just dry roasted, nothing nothing crazy, just super basic. And then when I get to Orlando, oh, and I'm also gonna get like, you know, styrofoam plates and a couple gallons 
of waters, probably just one gallon, um, yeah, uh, of water for tomorrow. And then I'll probably get the rest of the gallons. I'll probably like, you know, Instacart when I get to the hotel, like five gallon of waters and then um, my eggs and then whatever else like I might need, which shouldn't be like a whole lot. That should probably be like the gist of it. But yeah, so just gonna get some, a few little things, like hopefully it's only like $20. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So I'm at my parents' house. This is my parents' kitchen. And I am finishing prepping the food that I got from Publix yesterday. I got 96% lean ground beef. And then I'll be cooking some of my yellow, they had yellow tail snapper on sale. I love snapper, it's my favorite fish. So I'm gonna probably cook this in the air fryer and have this as my dinners. And then, <coughs> um, I'll be cooking this entire bag of hash browns for breakfast. It's the Alexia hash brown. It's my favorite. It's really good. There's literally nothing in here. It's zero percent fat. Um, like all potatoes are zero grams of fat. So that's how I know there's nothing in here and it was cooked pretty well. So I'll be cooking this on the skillet with um, my cooking spray. And then for my other carbs, this week other you know on top of i mean i'm still gonna have my waffles obviously but then i also have this is what i call my lazy meal prep is i could have made rice but i didn't feel like it i like to get this rice from whole foods it's organic whole grain brown rice uh again it's steamed so there's nothing in it and there's really no preservatives in here and there's zero grams of sodium so i do have to add salt myself because I love seasonings, I love salt, <laughs> so I'm always adding extra salt and seasoning in it. But this is actually, I mean, if you if you feel like meal prepping takes a long time, like these are simple ways to meal prep and save time. I mean, this rice is frozen. All you have to do is literally cook it in the microwave. You can, add, you can cook the whole thing in the microwave or you can just cook the portion that you want to eat in the microwave and save the rest later. <laughs> um, but, woo. So yeah, this comes with like, a, it's like a Ziploc. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a Ziploc style. So you don't have to cook the whole thing. You can take your portion that you want to eat or you can cook the whole thing and put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't really matter, but I like to just take my portions and put it back in the freezer. So yep, that's it. Tuesday, but no Taco Tuesday. I mean, I could make some Taco Tuesday, but I already have my beef for today. Anyway, so I am two, it's Tuesday. I've been in this hotel for three days. I'm training for a new job. And so I'm staying in the residence in because of the kitchen that I showed you guys this earlier. Um, but you know, it's been really good because I'm super, I'm like a type of person who is big on routines. I don't like when my routine gets disturbed, it throws me off, but being here, I'm picking this hotel, I've been able to stay with my same routine. The office that I'm going to is three minutes drive, just like home, and actually it's a little further at home, it's more like a one minute drive, <laughs> but three minutes is not that big of a deal. And then I found a Crunch Fitness, which is a gym that I work out at, well one of the gyms that I do work out of. 
and that's a four minute drive. So I'm still able to get up at, I get up at like 5.30, I get to the gym by 6 a.m. Um, I'm able to do my same like pre-workout. Like I bake my waffles in the morning with the PMD um, smoothie and the Kodiak cake waffle mix. I drink my pre-workout, drive down to the gym. It's four minutes. I get my workout in, come back, make my same breakfast that I always make. <laughs> and then I get dressed, get dolled up and head on over to the office to train for the day. Um, but I've been really enjoying like just cooking the foods that I love. Tonight I made rice, shrimp, spinach, asparagus, and onions, and I used coconut aminos, so I made like a little stir fry. Um, but yeah, so it's been going good, prep is going good. I just had a posing session with my posing coach that went really well, which is working on trying to fine tune the details and make sure that I really, really show how confident I am while I'm on stage. You guys already know I have so much fun on stage, but I really need to work on just showing the confidence and um, yeah. Um, and while I've been here too, I've been able to communicate with all my training clients, um, you know, fine tune their plans. Some of them don't require new plans, but just really communicating with them. So I've been, I, you know, was worried about being here, but it's been good. I've been able to do the same things that I normally do. So we're getting we're three weeks out. I'm excited about that and yeah.